Hey, what's up, people? Since the Arbitrum airdrop happened, a lot of people in the crypto space are now looking for the next mega airdrop. And the truth is that there are so many mega airdrops yet to come. But in today's video, we are going to be focusing on StackNet and its ecosystem. In the past, like about nine months ago, I talked about how to position yourself for the StackNet airdrop during the testnet. Here in my YouTube channel, you see all the videos I've done about StackNet in the past this was about eight months ago and if you scroll down a little you will see more videos i made concerning stacknet about a few months ago for those of you that have been here for a long time you must have participated in the stacknet testnet when i first talked about the stacknet ecosystem okay but we're here to do stops on the mainnet because stacknet has been live on mainnet for a while now but we still have the opportunity to perform one or two transactions to position ourselves for a possible airdrop so for today we're going to be interacting on stacknet mainnet but towards the end of this video i'm also going to show you some testnet project on stacknet which you can also interact with <laughs> it's important to note that stacknet has confirmed to launch an own token and 9% of the total supply has been allocated to end users and developers who have built dApps using StackNet. Who are the StackNet end users? They are those who used the dApps built on StackNet. This is what the allocation actually looks like. Now, it is also possible that StackNet has already taken a snapshot before this time. But there is also a possibility that might be taking another snapshot. Now, what about funds? StackNet has raised 300 million dollars and they have about 100 plus dApps in their community or ecosystem when you scroll down on this page you will see a lot of dApps which you can interact with most of them on mainnet while some on testnet you can actually come into this page and check out the ecosystem find out those projects you may want to interact with to position yourself the more for the stacknet airdrop okay it's time for us to start interacting on the mainnet there are two major wallets in the StackNet ecosystem. One is Agile X and the other is Bravo. So you can use any of these wallets to interact on StackNet. You can download both of them from Chrome extension. I will also recommend that you deposit at least $500 worth of ETA into your Agile X wallet. Please note that this is not a financial advice. Always do your own research and decide what to do with your funds. This is just a suggestion because it's important you generate a lot of volumes while interacting with the stacknet ecosystem if you have 500 dollars you can make up to 20 transactions and that will give you about ten thousand dollars in volume you can actually move out your funds at any time okay no one can stop you from moving out your funds right now let's head straight to the bridge click on it okay so this is the stacknet or stackgate bridge and remember the stacknet is still on its alpha version okay so you need to have that at the back of your mind because you might experience some catastrophic bugs and lock and there may be delays in your funds arriving into your wallet all right so first thing we have to do is to connect our metamax wallet click on this then metamax i'm on a different network i have to change this first from my metamax wallet now i'll go again it is connected and it's asking me to connect my StackNet wallets as well. So click on it. And both wallets are connected. This is Metamax and this is my Agent X wallet, which is on StackNet. I have just about $100 plus right here. So I'll be bridging $100 into the StackNet. Yeah, you might be wondering why I told you to bridge $500 and I'm bridging $100. I'm just doing this for this video. I'm actually going to bridge much more than $500 into my Agent X wallet. I'll enter 0.05. I'll click on transfer. This is not up to 100 bucks, but it's fine. And when you take a look at the left hand side, you will see my Fire app. It is yet to display proper. I think it's just a network issue okay so i'll just go ahead and click on confirm these are the three different stages it's going to go through one has been approved and transaction has been confirmed so now we are moving from l1 into l2 okay that was successful and the funds has arrived in my agile x wallet okay here it is about 88 dollars plus now one thing you need to know is that the agent s wallet can be pretty slow when you're interacting with this wallet you have to be 
very patient and sometimes you might see something like upgrade your wallet address to keep using this account if you don't do that you will not be able to use your agent x wallet so whether on testnet or mainnet you just need to get a little fund to upgrade your wallet start using the wallet once again what we have to do next is to make a swap go straight to the swap button we'll be able to swap from it into usdc or any other token of our choice that is right here 0 0.01 and that is about $17. I'll click on review swap. We are just paying about 43 cents as transaction fee, which is really not that much. Confirm it. Pending transaction. We have to wait for this to go through before we can do any other transaction. The transaction has been successful. You can see that I have about 17 USDC right here and it took a little while. And you can go ahead to swap into any other token of your choice like wrap btc and Tita usd next we have to use other dApps in the ecosystem and one of the dApps we're going to be using 10k swap yes i've not talked about 10k swap before so this is an opportunity for me to talk about them i actually love their user interface and also what they are trying to do so we're going to connect our wallets we select agent x connect so we are connected and this is on the mainnet okay and here also we are going to swap into other tokens we have ether and we can select any other token of our choice usdc die wrap btc and usdt so this time i'll be swapping into wrap btc i'll go for 0 0.005 then click on swap and confirm then confirm in your wallet it is going to cost about 60 cents in gas fees all right then click on confirm spending about five dollars or ten dollars in transaction fees to get a four to six figure airdrop is very much worth it the transaction is submitted successfully but it's still pending we have to wait again for it to go through you know how the agent x wallet works and now the transaction is successful you can see it's down here that we have received some amount of wrap btc and when you go to your wallet also you can see it right there okay here it is right bit to see about eight dollars plus and we are good to go so next thing we have to do in 10k swap is to provide liquidity we head straight to the pool we can provide liquidity on each usdc because we have some funds there we can provide on wrap b2c eat and we can also provide on wrap b2c usdc i'll just go for the first one eat usdc click on add liquidity 0.005 and that is about eight dollars in usdc also so click on deposit confirm deposit again we're going to pay another 50 cents in gas fee okay confirm it transaction submitted but it is still pending once more we have to wait for the transaction to go through but while we're waiting i want to show you other projects on mainnet that you can also interact with we have my swap you have to connect your wallet agent s and i understand we are connected so here you can also swap some tokens we have eta dai usdc rabbit to see and usdt almost the same thing we have in 10k swap and in the agent x wallet and you can also provide liquidity as well okay just enter any amount of your choice and you'll be good to go the next one is jd swap for jd swap you have to connect your wallet as well click on i understand the risks outlined above then connect your wallet agent x connect we are connected so we'll go straight to the trade and you will also be able to swap we have the same tokens right here as well you can swap as well and also provide liquidity if you want to do that make sure you use these dApps to generate enough volume that we position you very well to receive a good amount of the airdrop the next one we have to go to is starknet id i shared starknet id mostly on our telegram group and i believe that a lot of you participated in the starknet id both the testnet and also the mainnet but if you didn't participate you can still do that right now you just need to get a domain name for yourself click on connect agent x and connect before we proceed on starknet id it looks like our transaction has gone through on 10k swap so let's check it out and see our position go straight to my pools and here it is our liquidity position ETA and USDC we can withdraw our liquidity position at any time we want to do that we can also add 
at any time we want to do that okay so just try to play around with these dabs and see what you can come up with at the end of the day let's go back to stacknet id i only have a domain name on this account on their testnet so i'm going to create one on the mainnet right now we just search for domain name i'll go for my usual name crypto prince 100k search for it crypto prince 100k is available now why do you need a domain name in stacknet ecosystem this is just to prove that you are a human and not some bot trying to farm the airdrop so this is very important you're going to connect all your social handles to this domain name it is going to cost me about 0.04 ether i actually do not mind paying this to get this domain name i'll register from l2 click on it okay it looks like i don't have enough funds to do this right now i'll be adding more funds later to purchase this domain name i'll just cancel it and by the time you're done purchasing you'll be able to connect your discord your twitter handle and your github account now talking about discord once you're done you need to head straight to the discord server of course you should be a member of the discord in order to have access so once you're here you'll be able to share or connect your id go to share your id you will see exactly what other people are doing by the time you do this you will get this very row plus five letter club member okay for now i don't have this role but i have the odyssey og and identity member role this is all about the stacknet id the next thing we have to do is to go straight to mint square this is the number one nft platform on stacknet also on zk sync or zk sync you have to be connected just click on connect wallet and select add x connect here we are going to mint our own nft on mainnet we've talked about this during the testnet and i believe that a lot of you participated so we head straight to mint upload any picture of your choice give it any name description external link key attributes and value then you hit the mint button i'll do that right now i'll just go ahead to mint this this was when i first hit 1k subscribers on youtube which i'm very much grateful thank you so much guys once again i'll click on mint it says upload was successful so wait to confirm the transaction we're going to pay around 41 cents to mint this nfc click on confirm your transaction is being processed you can view the status if you want to do so but while we're waiting another thing you can do in mint square is to buy and sell an nft there are so many cheap nfts like 50 cents to one dollar that you can purchase in mint square and when you purchase it you should also try to put it on sale that would mean that we have done all the necessary thing you need to do in mean square another nft platform where you can purchase nft is aspect aspect was rebranded and they actually look better right now we're going to connect our wallet add an x when you talk about what you need to do aspect and mean square are almost similar we're going to buy sell and create an nft which is like minting an nft and there are cheap nfts here as well which you can buy for example the brick click on it we click on this very one brick sets wow this is not looking so expensive initially it was around 50 cents to one dollar right now the floor price is 0.01 when you scroll down you will see the price for other bricks okay this is just like around uh, three to four dollars i think so and this should be around five dollars plus so if you can afford this just go ahead and buy it and also put it on sale okay this will actually help to generate more volumes for you and you have a record that you have actually purchased an nft let's go back to mint square and check it out okay so nft successfully minted it will show up in your collection in few moments now go back to profile click on explore we also have brick boxes here you can click on it this is expensive let's go back let's try this very one brick the same very expensive try another one brick sets and this is a little bit cheaper okay you can try to purchase one brick set and also put it on sale i'm gonna purchase this very one it's around three dollars 89 cents let's just say four dollars including the transaction fee so i'll just buy it purchase the transaction fee is around four dollars plus i'll click on confirm the transaction is being processed again we have to wait for this let's go back to aspects it's also the same bricks that we have in aspect now when you purchase from mean square you can also decide to come and sell it in aspect and that is how it works this is exactly what i think you can do in the main net to position yourself for the stack net 
airdrop. And finally, before I go, I want to show you some other projects you can interact with on Testnet. And the first one is Stack Defy. I think they have an airdrop opportunity as well. A lot of you may know about this project and must have been participating already. So all you have to do is to swap. And here you can stick in the pool, mint, and do a lot of things. Okay. The next one is Fibros.finance. Okay, this one also is on testnet just try to play around with it another one is mint square mint square is also on testnet and on mainnet okay when you click right here you will see they have the mainnet the zk sync error the testnet and the zk sync testnet error as well so you can play around it on testnet also and another one is tacnet social please change your network to testnet remember to do that in your agent x wallet so you can be able to interact with the StackNet social. Another one is Carbon Finance. This has to do with options, automated market maker, and I anyone to buy and sell options at a fair price. So play around with it as well. They look good and look at their roadmap. You can study the project and position yourself also for any possible airdrop from this project. And the final one I want to show you today is where you can check your transactions just in case it is pending for a very long time you go straight to stackscan.co and paste in your wallet address to check the status of your transaction this is on mainnet and also on testnet this is what i got for you guys today i believe that by the time you do all of these you will be positioned for a future airdrop from stacknet all right thank you so much for watching if you learned something from this video go ahead and smash the like button and share this video everywhere. I will see you in my next one. Don't forget, we are going to make it. Bye.